verse 3. Look at what it says in verse 3. Call unto me. That leper came and called unto him. He worshipped him. He called him Lord. He surrendered the control of his life unto the Lord. And the Lord is saying, not only for that leper, but for you. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. He's talking to you personally tonight. He said, when you call, it will answer. You want salvation, it will answer. You want healing, it will answer. You want deliverance, it will answer. You want a holy life, it will answer. You want an upright life, it will answer. You want a change of life, it will answer. You want a life that will help you to get to heaven when he comes. It will give you that new heavenly life tonight in Jesus' name. Call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. The kind of miracle you have never seen, you have never heard of, will happen in your life. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, behold, I will bring it health and kill. The messenger is coming from heaven right now. The messenger is on his way right now. And the Lord is coming to you right now. He's bringing salvation. Are you going to receive? He's bringing healing. Are you going to receive? He's bringing transformation of life. Are you going to receive? I will bring it health and kill. And I will kill them. 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 And all those online, you are listening. If you come with your heart, you come with your mind, you leave everything. You are not doing this in the kitchen, doing this, or, you know, on the sides. And you come with all your heart, and you give yourself to him, and you say, I worship him. He'll be my Lord. He'll be my King. He'll be my Savior. And then you call him Lord and surrender the control of your life unto him. The promise is, I will save them. I will kill them. I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Somebody says, I'm saved. But he doesn't have peace in the heart. That's not salvation. Somebody says, I'm converted, and he doesn't have peace of heart. That's not conversion. Somebody says, I'm a child of God. He does not have peace with his wife. He does not have peace with the husband. That's not salvation. Somebody says, I connected with the Lord. I'm a child of God now, and there is no peace. There's no peace. There's no peace. When Christ comes, Christ is the author of peace and the prince of peace. And when you come and you connect with the Lord, the peace of God will reign in your heart from tonight in Jesus' name. Do not be going about that one is my enemy. That one is my opposer. That one is my detractor. That's one is the one doing this and that. I hate him. I cannot go along with him. When you come to the Lord, all your sins are forgiven and then uh, there's reconciliation with God and reconciliation with any other person around you and it grants you the abundance of peace and truth it saves you from error it saves you from falsehood and it saves you from all those things you do in the night with an occult chick gang and it gives you peace and true and tonight can be your night what is the person i'm talking to there tonight can be your night as with all your heart with all your mind in all sincerity you come to the lord tonight 
He will forgive you. He will break all those shackles of sin out of your life in Jesus' name. He'll take the punishment of sin away. He'll take the penalty of sin away. He'll break the power of sin out of your life. And then the sin that just to pull you and pull you and pull you down, it will weaken that pull. And from tonight, salvation comes and eternal life comes to you in Jesus' name. And so come like he came. You worship like you worshiped. You call him Lord, Master, like you call him Lord. And then you say, now I'm totally surrendered to your will. Take my hand and hold me. And then he'll be taking you step after step. And eventually he will lead you to heaven. Anybody there? He'll hold your hand. He will lead you to heaven. I said, anybody there, he will hold your hand. If you give your heart to him, if you give your heart to him, if you give your will to him, he will hold that hand, pull you out of sin, bring you to salvation, and you'll be on your way to heaven. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. You've seen the story. The story of the leper who led the multitude, the crowd, and he made up his mind. Today, I go to Jesus. And he came. And he opened his mouth. He made a public demand, a public confession. He says, if you are ashamed of me in this sinful and adulterous generation, I'll be ashamed of you. When I come in the presence of my Father and of his only angels, but if you will not be ashamed, as you are here and in all the other locations, anywhere you are, and you are there online, in your room, in an hotel room, in your garden, anywhere you're seated with your family or by yourself, and you're listening now, and you want to surrender and give your life unto the Lord. This is a sacred moment. As you come, the Lord will receive you. I didn't hear my Enugu amen again. As eggs are bowed, eyes are closed, and this is between you and the Lord. You're saying, yes, I come. I want salvation. Yes, I come. I want forgiveness. Yes, I come. I want cleansing from my sin. Yes, I come. I want the divine touch. And I want him to make me a new creature in Christ. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand. You want to come like that leper came? The sinner, you want his salvation? You want his forgiveness? You want reconciliation with God? You want him to take the guilt and the condemnation of sin away from your life? Anywhere you are, raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. Anywhere you are now, this is the urgent, important business of the day for you. Raise up your hand there. If you are raising up your hand, you stand up wherever you are. They are coming to Christ. God bless you. With your heart, with your mind, with your soul, God bless you there. Sincerely, wholeheartedly, all evil left behind, all sin partners left behind, the multitudes left behind, you're saying, I want to get to heaven. 
And without salvation, you cannot. I want to be a member of the family of God. Without salvation, you cannot be. Stand up wherever you are and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. With all my heart, with all my soul, I turn away from my sin and I turn to Jesus, my Savior. The Lord is waiting for you. You may never be as close as this to salvation any other time in your life. And this is the time you must not miss. The Spirit of the Lord is pulling that tug in your heart. Christ is knocking at the door of your heart. Don't keep him waiting there. That's right. Stand up now. As you stand up, tell the Lord. You see how that leopard did? He worshipped him. You're now my God. You're my Savior. You're my Redeemer. You died for me on the cross of Calvary. Tell him that. And I believe as I come to you now, your compassion will never fail. And I come wanting your compassion upon my life. He knows your secret sin. He knows that thing will drag you down to the pit of hell. But he wants to forgive you now. That's right. Get up there and say, Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. He has compassion. He'll forgive you now. If you genuinely repent and you display your trust, your confidence, your hope, your faith in him. Thank you, Lord. Forgive me and grant me the grace not to go back to those sins anymore. As he forgives you, the spirit of God will bear witness in your heart. There'll be peace in your heart. There'll be joy in your soul. There'll be a new strength in your life to now follow the Lord till the end of your life. He will take hold of your hand now and then You'll be going the direction of heaven. You'll be following until you get to heaven. Can you say amen while you're standing up? I said, if you're standing up, can you say amen? Raise up that hand as you're standing up. Close your eyes. Christ never rejects anyone who comes. Father, we thank you for your spirit that has spoken to every heart. Thank you for the call, call to salvation, call to forgiveness, call to repentance. Thank you, Lord, because your compassion will not fail. I pray for all these who are standing and all those who are standing everywhere in every congregation all over the world. Those who are by themselves, those who are before the screen, those who are before the telephone, and those who are connected now, and they want the mercy, they want the compassion, they want the salvation of the Lord. Give them the assurance of salvation in Jesus' name. Break the power of sin from their lives. Weaken the pool of temptation and sin from their lives in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts that they are now children of God. Let heaven rejoice because of everyone. Let the joy bells ring in every heart too. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anywhere you are now, keep on standing. You here and they there, everywhere, all over the world. 
join Enugu and give an Enugu. Amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our ushers, counselors, members of the choir, they're coming to you now to give you a sleeve. You need to keep on standing until you receive. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Keep on standing. And then, well, well you know, give you the sleep and you feel it. We'll call on our state of us here. And all our leaders in the various congregations, anywhere you are, you turn in, uh, you know, you, you lead now in this uh, counseling period. And those who are online, you see a number there on your screen. Get in touch with us through that number. A new journey has begun in your life today. Our Basia here. Keep on standing. Cancerous get to them quickly outside, inside. Get the card and fill it correctly. Fill in your phone number, make sure it's complete. After that, you return to the ushers or the counselors, and they're going to give you a convert packet. And then you go through all that is there. There is a letter from the man of God to you. Wherever you are, please keep on standing until you are attended to. Don't sit down. And those who are online, Fill in the card provided for the link that is there. Complete the form and submit through the same link. Or you listen to us and you have made the issue over the radio. Just take down the address, Deeper Life Bible Church, nearest to you, and identify and show that. Yes, I surrender my life to Christ through the divine torch for total freedom crusade over the lady. Open your, I mean, make sure you feel the card correctly. Cancel us, please. Get to them in all the halls and outside toward the gate all over. Let there be nobody standing that is not being attended to. You gave your life to Christ and they have not attended to you. Please call the attention of the counselor. Please keep standing so that they will identify you and be able to attend to you. The card will be given to you or they help you to fill it. Fill it correctly. All that is needed, give us your correct address and telephone number. Make sure it's up to 11 digits. And then after which, they will give you the converse letter and the convert package. Have a lot inside that will help you to grow. And on Sunday 5th of September, there's going to be Believers Converse Banquet. Please, cancel us, get to them quickly. And when you are true, you let us know in all the other locations. Please, this is the canceling time now. We should take all the details of those that gave their lives to the Lord. And those that did it online, either via Facebook or Instagram or any other social media, please fill on the form and submit through the same link. And the Lord will bless you. Make up your mind to continue following the Lord. Let's be fast. Cancel us. And once you are through, 